We're Heather and Yain, and we got married in 2020. The pandemic cancelled our honeymoon plans, so we took the money and bought Big Red. We've had so many adventures in her, and now we want to live van life full time. We're starting completely from scratch with a slightly bigger model, and the conversion is finally underway. Subscribe below to follow along. But today, check this out. The sun's out. The friggin' sun is out. So, we're gonna do the roof. Hey, we're gonna do the roof. I'll get you high. Oh, no. I'll give you a very bad headache. One or the other. Polyester resin. General purpose and laminating fiber glass GRP. To be used with MEKP catalyst, thoroughly mixed before use at room temperatures and well ventilated area. Definitely going to be well ventilated because I'm going to be on the back of the roof. Uh, right, mix ratios. So say how quickly it goes off. And also, how big is this? Gonna need a measuring jug. Ring Heather. Hello? Hello? I'm literally making my work. Oh. I was gonna ask you to get a measuring jug. Oh uh, no, John. I'm sorry. So. Being let down, people. Right. You're on camera, just being a punk. Bye. Let down. What use is it having a wife out there in the car if she can't pick you up some goddamn measuring jugs? Okay, time to make it up. Make it up as we go. Ooh. Hard in there. This shit looks dangerous. Causes damage to organs. Understood. Won't drink it then. We were at my workstation a bit. Okay, so the idea is, I think, we mix these two bad boys together, all of that and all of this, and then I'm gonna lay the fiberglass all the way along, and then I just chuck this on. Yeah, I might just do that. So I might just pour the whole of this in there, give it a good shake, pour it onto the roof, and then use the paintbrush and the rollers to go over the top of my resin, one big long sheet at a time. Ah. I think that's a good plan. Hello, lazy butt. Lazy butt. Lazy oh, butt. Man, man. Guess what I'm doing? Fiberglassing. Doing the roof. I know, I already guessed this. You asked me for a measuring jug. What else would you need to measure? You don't need one. All you need is a wine scale. Maybe I was measuring your soup. That's very unlikely. For lunch. I'm very hungry. Let's go get some soup. Three, two, one, soup. Hey, it worked! Three, two, one, soup! Haha, <laughs> good work, Heather. Hi. What I'm actually gonna do is not do what you said and measure it out. I'm gonna pour all of that hardener into all of the resin, and then when I put the sheets on, I'm gonna pour the resin onto the sheet and I'm gonna paint no, it. No, no, yeah, right, no. Mm. No. I hope we good idea. It'll spill off the sides, it'll. No way. I've had a, this is how it's going to go down. <sighs> Once you pour that You can that go back resin, to work, it'll be fine. You only have 20 minutes before it sets. Hmm. I'm fast. No way. You know you're not doing the fiberglass without me, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. No way. No way. Guess what, everybody? I was going to do the roof, and then Heather told me not to. Because um, Heather is the resin master. Uh, and I didn't know there's a whole bunch of rules around resin. So... We're gonna do a segment, and it's called Heather's How To's. And Heather doesn't know how to do many things, so oh, oh. it's gonna be a short segment, but okay. Heather knows how to do resin, so. This is only from experience, this is probably wrong. So, <laughs> probably don't copy what I'm about to this say. This is not financial advice. <laughs> However, this stuff, it, like you can smell how toxic it is. So don't be getting this in your lungs when it's open, on your hands, Potent. on your skin. Yeah, it's not water soluble, so yeah, if you get it on them. you and you try to wash it off, you're scuppered. I told him about it smells. Yeah. 
Um, it says on this bottle comes up basically no instructions, so that's not very useful. But the one thing it does say is the ratio. So it says two percent of the um, resin main body to the resin hardener, and they do give you a little syringe to get that done. Um, when using this with the fiberglass, you need to roll the fiberglass out, and with we've just got a wallpaper brush because it was cheap, um, and we'll have to throw it away afterwards because we're not using loads of white spirits to get it clean again. Resin fucks stuff up basically. Yeah, it, it ain't good. So using this to paint on the resin, and then we've got um, like a fiberglass rolling kit, and then we'll get all the air bubbles out afterwards. Oh, I showed them that too. Don't mix up the entire amount in one bucket, just because you know that the ratio is going to be right. That's what I was going to do. Yeah, because um, after 15 minutes of having this mixed together, it'll completely harden and you'll have wasted all of it. So just measure it out in small quantities using the little trusty bucket that I got you, and roll it on. When you run out, make up some more. Repeat. How do you measure it? You're gonna weigh it. So you're gonna put this bucket on the scales, zero it, pour in a kilo or 500 mils or whatever, and then get 2% of that with the syringe, add it in, give it a good mix. I can't believe I have to go back to work now and leave you on to do this by himself. I'm actually a little bit scared. See y'all, I'm off to work. See y'all. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> back to me. Right, I'm gonna mix the whole thing. I'm gonna ignore what Heather said. She didn't hear me. Boring. Safe. Hello everybody. We've got all the stuff on the roof. Uh, now we just need to make sure I can get on the roof without tipping this ladder over. She's a bit wobbly. And uh, don't forget your PPE when working with fiberglass because this shit is nasty. And I'm going to attempt to give each bit a scrub first with the brush just to try and make sure it's clean. I've got this piece of plyboard because this roof is not uh, not sturdy fiberglass but there are like sturdy beams going across so I'm laying this plyboard across so that I can walk all the way across hopefully lay sheet we'll see see how we get on kind of making it up as I go along here okay we are on the roof don't know if you can hear me but I'm on the roof with a bunch of fiberglass this is our fiberglass in here so I'm going to open that up roll it out along that corner over there then I'm going to lay the resin once I've rolled that out I'm going to stick those two beams on top to stop it blowing away and then I'm going to pour the resin uh, paint the resin on with this then if I have enough resin left over I'll roll another bit out do some more if I run out of resin, then I'll go back down and make more and I know how much to make for the next run. So that's the plan. We're going to start with 500 mil and see how far that gets us. Yeah, cool. Start small, go big. Cool, so I've done that patch. Boom, there was like one, two, three, there were three patches in the roof that I've gone over. And I'm just going to do this patch here because there's a big one here that I'm trying to cover up. And then if I've got enough, I'm going to go down and do those two front corners because they're kind of two weak spots. And I'm not going to worry about these for now, I'm going to do those at a later date because they're not leaking. Because um, I think we're going to run out of resin, so... Whew. This is hard work. Welcome to the resin station. I apologise if you can't hear me or if I'm not in very good focus, but I didn't want to touch the camera very much with my hands. So this is what I'm doing. I've got my stirring stick, my uh, resin bucket, 
some good gloves, I've double gloved, on weighing scales. Put it on the weighing scales. I know I need, I know roughly how much I need now from doing a couple of tests up on the roof. So for this one I'm going to do pretty much everything that's left, about 2 litres. I need 40 grams of this, which will pretty much be the last of this too. Once I mix them up, I mix them for about 3 minutes, then I can start putting them on the roof. And then I've got about 15 to 20 minutes before it starts to go hard and gloopy. So I've got to mix, run, on the roof, paint in like 15 minutes. Here we go! Woo. As you might be able to see from the marks around my face, I have finished. Resin complete. I was wearing that mask for a good couple hours. But you can probably see in the roof these like patches, these horrible crap patches that people did before. Well guess what? You can't see my new patches because I did them properly. Wait, I suppose you could probably just make out that line there. Um yeah, I've done what well, I'm hoping, as long as I stick and everything. I've just done two really cool patches of fiberglass up here. Um, two, I've done, well, wrong, I've done one massive patch here. I did a patch, I covered this big whole patch, covered that little bit, then I covered three of them down there, and then I covered the two cracks, one in the corner there, and one in there, so I've done, covered everything um, in fiberglass, so hopefully. There are a couple of tiny little ones left, down in the, like just on the fiberglass, but I think they're just on the outside of the fiberglass, not coming all the way through. But I might if we uh, get some more, because I'm out of resin now. But if we get some more, I'm gonna get Heather to do it, because I don't want to do any more of that. It was bone. I was gonna show you my job. Ta -da. So we've got this patch, this one, like I said. And then right down the front, more patches. You can just see the little white bits where there's kind of a few air bubbles, but they're not actually the flat parts. That's just over the top of the old patches, which is why there's some air bubbles. But the rest of it looks pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not going to lie. There's a few little bits like this. It's just on the edge, but it's where it doesn't really seal to the metal. I'm not too worried about that because it's sealed all the way around. So... Great success. Fiberglass complete. <laughs> Fucking treacherous ladder this. Wish I'd got a better ladder. This thing's dangerous as fuck. There we go. Oh, back in. Right. Got a hour or so now until got some people coming over for dinner. So I'm gonna finish off framing the floor. Woohoo! Ready for electric. Electric baby! Good morning. I've spared you all the trip to B&Q because I didn't think you needed to watch me go and buy some more friggin' tape and battens again. Insulation day, baby! And it's Friday. It's Friday day. It's Saturday, Sunday, what? It's Friday day. And Saturday, Sunday, what? problems numero uno fiberglass roof equals condensation mother f after fully waterproofing the roof yesterday and like going over all the patches I've now come in to see a couple of drips on the floor and I started panicking I was like oh no where's these mother holes see this dripping dripping on the floor why is there mother holes in my mother man? Heather's gonna have to do some beeping on this video. Um, uh, one drip just came down past my head. A little f***er. It's actually not, it's not leaking in at all. I'm talking shite. It's just condensing on the roof and dripping down. Oh, it's so wet up there. I don't really know how I'm gonna stop that. Apart from getting my Max Air fan in and getting it running, but that means I'd have to hook it up. And we don't have any batteries to hook it up to. The only other thing I can think of that's going to really help is 
removing this piece of crap silver door. Oh, that's a whole other mission though. Oh. Next time, after Yain gets the anger out of his system, we get around to fitting our final windows. Tune in next Friday to see how we get on.